First trade, we're going to be picking up three uncommons for absolutely free. I only asked for one, but this guy's a legend, ended up giving me three anyways. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping for at least 10 credits on these, which will help us get started in our trading journey. So, in this next trade, we're going to be selling our three uncommons for someone else's three uncommons. Uh, one of them is painted, so it should be like a lot easier to sell. Open for 100% at least 10 credits on these. Here I end up selling my uncommons for exactly 10 credits, which is what I was looking for in the first place. And uh, hopefully we can get a nice overpay with these credits. This is a great way to make profit, picking up non-crate rares for 10 credits and uh, selling them for 20 or trading them up to get a non-crate very rare which sells for 100. This is the same guy who gave us the free uncommons. He's hooking us up with an uh, import car which I know I could get at least 50 for and uh, two uncommons. So yeah, very happy to make this trade. It's going to help out a lot. So this guy invited me back to a trade, I guess he wanted to help me out a little bit more and give me some wheels or in a decal. Uh, I instantly noticed the Lime Mendozas and I knew those were RLCS, so I knew they'd be worth more than any other limited. So I instantly chose those and uh, yeah, they were worth a lot. As you'll see, um, I'll sell them for a lot later in the next trades. But yeah, this guy's helping us out a lot here. Here I sell the Lime Mendozas for Fennec, which is 100 under min, but I'm more than happy to make this trade because I got them for free, and I'm positive I could get an overpay for it with the Fennec, because it is a very popular car right now, and lots of people want it. In this trade, I get a nice item overpay for the Fennec, with the Orange Octane being the most expensive, and a few non-crates in there, and then the Titanium White Devil Hoons, which I'm sure I could get for something later. In this trade, I'm selling my import car for an anodized pearl, which is worth about 100 credits more. Hopefully, I can get an item overpay or just pure credits, but uh, yeah, this is a very good trade in general. Here, we're swapping our orange octane and a few ads for electroshock, which is the same price, but it's 100% way easier to sell and uh, hopefully I get an overpay or just like mid-pricing credits for it. Here we saw our Electroshock for the mid-price of credits, which is 450. I'm happy to get some credits so we can make some more profit. Here we get a massive overpay in non-crates. I probably would have just done the trade with the two titanium whites in the corner. But um, yeah, so we added a bunch of uncommons and then the two titanium whites, it just makes it a massive overpay. So very happy about this. In this clip, we're going to be trading up all of our uncommons and hopefully in the end we'll have enough for a non crave error, which is about 90 credits to 100. This is going to be the last trade of the video, and uh, we're selling our titanium white macaron for 200 credits, and we're going to make some easy profit. 